I got a confession to make. I recently did my top 10 wide receiver rankings video, and the minute I posted it, I, I regretted it. This is the Fantasy Football Show with your host, Smitty. Take a lap. The minute I posted it, I, I regretted it. I regretted not having a lave higher. Part of my reason for ranking him where I did was part part selfish. I, I didn't want to drive up his ADP. Not just for me, but for you guys. Like, I don't want to put every one of our moon men. The moon men dropping loads in outer space. I don't want to put every one of these guys inside the top seven and, and just ruin their values. But here's the thing. He's already climbing into round two pretty comfortably. He's already on the radar. We've been talking about him well before anybody else to the degree we've been talking about him. I mean, we haven't, we've done our damage, right? In, in a good way. But I have to, I have to tell you, after doing that video and looking at it and watching the video back with you guys in a live premiere, we do the live premiere all the time where we just, we drop a live premiere like, like it's nothing. Yeah. Watching that premiere back, I just, I cringed because I said, why didn't I just put them where I want to put them? I, I'm going to say something that might shock some people. I don't know that Garrett Wilson, the more I, the more I look at this, I don't know that Garrett Wilson is the only guy that has top four wide receiver talent and ability from our moon men wide receivers. The moon men. This list right here, the sophomores dominate it. Watson, Alave. Pickens, London, Garrett Wilson, and we focus a lot on Garrett Wilson for good reason, but the 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 cat's out of the bag, everybody's all over Garrett Wilson now, and I'm not saying they aren't rising on Alave. As soon as Carr landed in New Orleans, you know, he's been climbing a lot, and he's, he's been climbing a lot lately, even before Carr landed there in, in anticipation that they get a quarterback, but we're focused, we're so hyper-focused for good reason on Garrett Wilson. Little Garrett Wilson's a top five wide receiver play, but this guy right here, Chris Alave, I feel like he's got as much upside as as Garrett Wilson. Not close, not not uh I like him too. If I've gotta go uh, a cheap way, a poor man's version of Garrett Wilson, I'll take a lover. I honestly believe right now, right here, right now, went up to the mountaintop, spent all night there, looking around, vision came. Chris Alave is every bit as capable of being a top four wide receiver as Garrett Wilson. Let's go. Yeah. I was skeptical to come out and make this video. I was skeptical to put them in such a, a uh, big pair of shoes because I don't want all of you to ruin his ADP value. I don't want him to start going at the 12-13 turn like Garrett Wilson's going. And Garrett Wilson's deserving of the 12-13 turn. Let's be honest, he is. If you're drafting at 12 and you take Bijan, you get so lucky to get Bijan Robinson. If you're drafting at, let's say, the 12-13 turn, so let's go ahead and, and work this out on the board here. Okay, so here you are. Let's let's make this uh, round one, round two, round three, round four. Let's say you're lucky enough to get Bijan right here at this this 12 pick. And at the 13 pick, you, you get Garrett Wilson. This is one of the best strategies you can get if you've got a late first round pick. You know I love Jamar Chase at one or two overall. And then right here at the, at the bookend 24-25 picks, you get Burrow, right? You stack it. You get Jamar Chase, you get Joe Burrow, and you get some other player right here. Sometimes Walker and Brees Hall fall to 24 overall. You get Walker or Brees with with uh, Joe Burrow and you get Jamar up top. That's a fantastic way to build from the one pick or the two pick, right? Well, if you miss out on the one or two pick and you say, Smitty, I can't get the stack. I can't get the Joseph Cigar Smoking Burrow and Jamar Chase stack. Second best option on the, on the other side of the spectrum is to go Bijan, Garrett Wilson, and and then somehow, some way, Burrow has been falling to this bottom of round three. You get Joseph Cigar Smoking Burrow on top of whatever player you draft back to back with him. Bijan, Garrett Wilson, Joe Burrow, best three players start in the in the draft in 2023 if you're drafting from 12 and can't do the Burrow Chase stack. I don't know how I got off on that tangent. I, I wanted to basically say Garrett Wilson's the man. What what I'm trying to emphasize here is that if you no longer want to spend 12 or 13 overall draft value on Garrett Wilson, but you want Garrett Wilson, there is a man. His name is Chris Olave, 
And he holds the very same upside and ability. He really does. His running ability, his ability to stretch the defense, take the top off the defense. He was the number one wide receiver, and it wasn't even close in 2022 in air yards when Winston was under center. That means when the ball's in the air, there's more yardage between the quarterback and when the receiver catches the football by the time he pulls it in than any player in the National Football League when Winston was in the lineup. And when Winston was out of the lineup and the Saints were playing rotational QB musical chairs, guess what Alave did? Adjusted and adapted. And Alave ended up becoming a very good possession wide receiver, a sideline wide receiver. It's like my example of breaking your right arm, your dominant arm. You have to learn how to do things with your left hand. And once your right arm is out of the cast and ready to go again, you're so much better for it. You can use both of your arms. You can use your left arm more than you ever could. Now you can still use your right arm because it's your dominant arm and you're just a dominant man in general to the moon what i'm trying to say is that this guy alave is really no different in terms of upside than garrett wilson at the end of the day and if we're talking about not wanting to spend this pick on garrett wilson you can do something else you can try and get alave now with this draft selection maybe not because i don't know the alave is falling to the bottom of three alave is probably going in this territory in the second round so if we rewrite this out and we try and come up with a, a, a team build that we like with Alave as the, the wide receiver that we're drafting. Let's say you get this pick here and you go CMC, okay? And you don't go Jamar Chase, but now you need a wide receiver. Alave right here, anywhere in the bottom of two and top of three is win a league material because Alave can get you top five wide receiver production and at the the mid the mid to late second especially top of third you're paying nowhere near top five wide receiver value like you are now with garrett wilson you're you're paying borderline top five wide receiver value. Not that he won't earn it. Not that I'm down on Garrett Wilson. Absolutely love him to the moon, Garrett Wilson. But right now, between Garrett Wilson and Alave, who's got more bang for the buck? Probably Alave for now. Don't ruin his ADP. Draft very smartly. Draft him where ADP allows you to get away with you know, highway robbery because if Alave's going, let's say, as wide receiver eight or seven or whatever, don't draft Alave when he's five or six wide receivers down because you mix in running backs, quarterbacks, a tight end. That's that's more than a round away. Be smart about using the suggested ADP rank because that tells you what the average bill, the worried William, the petrified Peter's going to do. They usually go off the recommendation. People don't draft far away from the suggested ADP rank. That's why using ADP can help you win a league. Chris Olave, if I had to guess, 1,400, yard, 1400 yards, 12 plus TDs, and 100 receptions, well over 100 yards rushing, and we'll call it one or two touchdowns on the ground. Chris Olave is a top five wide receiver in 2023. I'm running out of top five wide receivers. I get it. I might have called six guys at this point top five wide receivers. But guess what? We don't care. Chris Olave is a top five wide receiver 2023. Let's go. Get on over to thefantasyfootballshow.com. Get your year-round fantasy football rankings, bull prediction, text advice, one-on-one text advice, and trade calculator. Uh, video courses will be dropping soon. Those are private, uh, exclusive video courses, how to negotiate trade, how to trade draft picks, how to trade into the 1.1, how to trade out of the 1.1, things like that. All coming downstream at thefantasyfootballshow.com. And get on over to underdog fantasy using the link in the description and they'll match up to $100 in your first deposit this is how you draft with us hey smitty how do i draft with you you got to go to underdog fantasy promo code smitty the link is in the description it inserts the promo code for you but you have to be signed up ahead of time uh, to get into a draft because the spots go quick so click that link now so click that link now make your $10 deposit minimum $10 deposit they'll match that $10 or if you make a 50 they'll match the 50 be careful on your first deposit because you don't want to do a $10 when you can get a $50 bonus match dollar for dollar so pick your number appropriately in the beginning because you only get one match and you know you might want to drop a 20 and get a $20 match I'll see you all on the next video but Chris Olave Chris Olave to the moon to the moon now get out of here this is the fantasy football show with your host Smitty